Dry eye is an inflammatory condition. Often the inflammation seen in dry eye can be due to systemic conditions, especially autoimmune disease. In this video, I'll talk about the autoimmune diseases that are known to have an association with dry eye. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. You've made it to eye school with me, Dr. D. Today's lesson is all about autoimmune diseases and we'll focus on a couple of specific autoimmune diseases that are known to cause dry eye. But before we get started, this channel is all about eye education and I love to see you guys, my pupils, interacting with each other in the comments and asking me questions as well. And if you did find this video because you were searching for information on dry eye, I actually have a couple of playlists that I'll leave here, whether it's in the description or up above, but I want you guys to be able to find that because you'll find those dry eye videos and blepharitis videos useful. When you have a healthy immune system, it defends the body against diseases and infection. However, if the immune system malfunctions, it can mistakenly attack its own healthy cells, tissues, and organs. An autoimmune disease is commonly referred to as when the body is attacking itself. There are many autoimmune diseases and many of them can cause an array of issues with the eye. I actually talked about this um, recently in my uveitis video, which I will put here above. Like uveitis, dry eye is also commonly caused by different autoimmune diseases. So inflammation plays a key role in severe dry eye, and there's some common autoimmune conditions that are more likely to target the ocular surface. So we know that patients who suffer from rheumatoid arthritis, Sjogren's syndrome, rosacea, and lupus frequently experience dry eye as well. In these cases, the autoimmune disease actually targets ocular surface tissue prior to the onset of dry eye symptoms. So the first one we're going to talk about today is rheumatoid arthritis. So this is commonly referred to as RA, and it's a highly inflammatory disease that can often lead to joint decay, deformity, and even loss of functionality. And we often see this, especially in the hands and even feet. Swelling of the joints is the benchmark of rheumatoid arthritis, and it can cause irreversible joint damage and disability. So about 1% of the population in the U.S. is diagnosed with RA, and it does affect twice as many women as it does men. Now we know severe dry eye affects more women than men as well, and so there are definitely those of you out there who have severe dry eye and rheumatoid arthritis. So when severe oral and eye symptoms are combined with ocular signs and salivary gland involvement, so that's when Sjogren's syndrome can be diagnosed in conjunction with RA, and that's called secondary Sjogren's. I made an entire video about Sjogren's, and I'll link that above for reference. So dry eye symptoms are more common in patients with RA, and they tend to increase with age. Dry eye syndrome is also associated with certain medications and the severity of the case of RA itself. So about a quarter of patients with RA will have dry eye related problems. And it's not always just dry eye. You can also have retinal detachments, macular edema, retinal vasculitis as well. So going into the second autoimmune disease we'll talk about today, Sjogren's syndrome. And again, I made a whole video about this, but dry eye does have a strong association with Sjogren's syndrome, which leads to a tear deficient type of dry eye syndrome. Sjogren's is a chronic autoimmune disorder that affects both the tear production and the function of the salivary glands. This disorder actually attacks both the salivary glands and the lacrimal glands responsible for tear production. So that's why you get dry mouth and dry eyes with Sjogren's. Sjogren's can lead to chronic irritation and damage to the cornea. And there are several eye signs and symptoms of Sjogren's, including the following. You might have sensation of something in your eye, we call that a foreign body, grittiness, irritation, or even light sensitivity. But complications from Sjogren's can, all the way, can include all the way up to corneal ulceration, um, scarring, and even eyelid infections. Another autoimmune disease that is linked with dry eye is rosacea. So again, I've made an entire video about rosacea, which I'll link above. 
but rosacea is a chronic inflammatory disease of the skin characterized by certain facial blood vessels enlarging. That gives the cheeks and nose a flushed appearance. It does affect around 14 million people in the U.S., and it usually starts in the age of, you know, around 20 to 30, with a noticeable progression within the next decade after it begins. The eye signs and symptoms of rosacea are very, very common and can include, again, sensation of foreign body, burning of your eyes, irritation, tearing, photophobia, light sensitivity, um, blurred vision. You may have been told that you have meibomian gland dysfunction because meibomian gland dysfunction is very, very common among patients with rosacea. I talk about potential treatments for rosacea in that particular video, but I've also made a ton of other videos about warm compresses and lid scrubs, and then more recently, intense pulse light, IPL, which is a treatment that I do in my office as well. Next, we've got systemic lupus erythematosus, or SLE, also known as lupus. And lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease of unknown origin. It can affect many, many different organs in the body, and it can exhibit eye symptom symptoms in up to one third of patients. Eye involvement in lupus can be potentially blinding in some cases. It can affect the blood vessels of various parts of the eye, including the retina, the sclera, um, conjunctiva, and it can also affect the cornea. So in general, artificial tears can be used to alleviate symptoms um, in patients with mild eye problems from autoimmune diseases. In general, I like to follow, um, you guys have heard me talk about DUES 2, TFOS, Tear Film and Ocular Surface Society, and their workshop report, and the stepwise approach that we take to dry eye treatment and management. And that's no different in the case of autoimmune disease. So whether, it, it does depend what's causing your dryness, but ultimately, no matter the cause or the, the, the different causes, there could be more than one, no matter what that is, we're still looking at treating you in a very stepwise fashion, going from step one, step two, you know, increasing the seriousness of the treatment as we increase in severity of the disease. So we use anti-inflammatory agents like corticosteroids, pharmaceutical options like Zydra, Sequa, and Restasis. Um, I use in-office advanced treatments like low-level light therapy, intense pulse light, microblepher exfoliation, um, all kinds of things. So always you know, look to your doctor. This is intended to be just educational. Always ask your dry eye specialist or your eye doctor what might be the right combination of therapies to use for your dry eye. And also check out my different videos about the treatment of dry eye for more on that. There's some other autoimmune diseases that can cause dry eye. I just wanted to mention those, even though we're not going in depth, but we've got multiple sclerosis, thyroid diseases, psoriasis, Graves disease, ulcerative colitis, and type one diabetes. Um, so is autoimmune disease the cause of your dry eye symptom? I definitely wanna hear about it down below. If you, if you have dry eye due to an autoimmune disease, what's helped with it? Definitely start that conversation with myself as well as all of our other pupils on iSchool um, and we'll help each other. <laughs> all right, everyone. So if your autoimmune disease is the cause of your dry eye syndrome, syndrome, let's talk about it down below in the comment section so we can all help each other out. And I will definitely try and chime in and help where I can as well. I hope that helped with your understanding of autoimmune and dry eye. That is going to be it for today's iSchool lesson. I'll see you next time. Class is dismissed.